All right, what up YouTube? It's Plock the Master Gamer here, and we're back at it with some Fable of the Lost chapters. Now, this is a long-awaited video that I probably should have made a long time ago. Uh, I just kind of never really got around to it for some reason. Even though this video is about a legendary weapon, it's about a legendary weapon that I actually never really find myself using, and that's mostly just because uh, I don't really find myself using archery very often. If you haven't caught in the clue yet, this is, yes, about the Scorm's Bow. So there's a couple caveats to getting the Scorm's Bow, and if you don't already know about the Scorm's Bow, you get it by, you know, sacrificing bodies. I was about to say donating, but uh, it's kind of a funny word for sacrificing bodies. But you get it for sacrificing bodies to the Chapel of Scorm, and there's a few ways to go about getting it. You can just donate lots of dead bodies to them, or, you know, sacrifice lots of bodies to them, and I think you can get it that way. Um, and then there's people that say that you have to do it at midnight, and people saying that, like, there's certain days of the week you have to do it on. And so I've compiled about as much information as I could about this, and I've seemed to have found what I believe to be the best way of doing this. So first things first, yes, you do want to do this at midnight. So we're going to go to the hero status here, though. We're going to look at personality, and you'll see we have game days past here. Now, the other thing about this is I guess you want to be sacrificing this person's body at midnight on Sunday. Uh, so essentially, the way the game days work, work is that every seventh day is a Sunday so game day 7 is Sunday game day 14 is Sunday game day 21 is Sunday so on and so forth uh, you can see here we are at game day 12 so we are gonna have to rest a couple days but before we do that we are gonna go to get ourselves a bodyguard oh and yeah one thing that I did want to show real quick um, is the fact that we've only done uh, the beginner quest yeah we haven't even started the wasp menace yet so we're at the very beginning of the game we haven't done much of anything at all yet so yeah first things first we're gonna get ourselves a bodyguard just because that is the easiest person to get to follow you and you know I think there's actually like tiers of people that you can sacrifice and basically the stronger they are the better or something like that I don't know exactly how it works there, there seems to be a lot of little mechanics that go into it and it's kind of just like a probability machine like the more of these boxes you check like the higher the probability that you'll get the scorms bow or something like that I don't really know exactly how it works again game day 12 so we're gonna have to rest a couple days and I have this house here in Oakville, which makes it quite easy, actually. And yeah, it's 13th day, so right now it's Saturday. And we need to get it to Saturday night. So we're going to rest one more time. And now it's Saturday night. Now, of course, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Chapel of Scorm, of course. I actually have Darkwood Camp as my recall, so that's pretty convenient. I forgot there's actually another reason why you want to have a mercenary. And it's because uh, you can tell when it's midnight by when you pay them. Uh, you'll see the coins leave your coin purse at exactly midnight, or I think it's like right before midnight or something like that. So you wait until the exact moment that you have to pay them, and then you wait a couple seconds or whatever the hell, and then you talk to them, and you should be able to get the Scorm's bow on the first try. So here we go, we just paid him, and now we're going to talk to him. So you brought me a gift, so contribute to your growing immorality. If you want to sacrifice the person following you, the die is cast, it means you sacrifice, blah blah blah. Ah, uh, yes, for this one, I think the rope engine. So we sacrifice this poor sucker. And if all goes well, we should get the Scorm's Bow. And I think that is the message you get before you get the Scorm's Bow. And it is because we got it. We'll wield this real quick. Oh, and looking at the Scorm's Bow, let's, uh, let's, you know, do a little bit of look here. Uh, we got 264 damage. It's got a lightning and a sharpening augmentation on it. To compare that to a Master Bow, I don't know because I don't have one, but it is definitely stronger than a Master Bow, and it does definitely look really fucking ridiculous. I don't know if there's any other, like, special attributes about it, other than the fact that it's a pretty strong bow, and it looks fucking ridiculous. Ooh, yes, yeah, so we got a Master Longbow at 180 damage. See, 180 versus 264, it's quite clear that the Scorm's Bow is just an insanely strong weapon. I almost want to say it's stronger than like the sort of Aeons, but yeah, very strong bow, and you can get it before you even do the Wasp Queen, so it's or the Wasp Menace, so it's it's pretty pretty awesome actually. It doesn't take very much at all. You just need a cheap mercenary, and you just need a little bit of good timing on your own behalf to get it to work right. But yeah, that's how you get the Scorm's Bow, the quick and the easy and the cheap way, and how to get it, I guess, at the earliest point in the game as well. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys learned something new from this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And also, make sure you're leaving those suggestions down in the comments below. If you leave suggestions for future videos, I'll definitely read them and I'll make them into videos. And then I'll take your comment and I'll, you know, put it in the video, give you a little bit of a shout out. So that's always cool too. But yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable of the Lost chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Peace out. Fucking bitch. There we go.